Right, so question two uh, gives us a diagram of a patio that's in the shape of a rectangle and we can see that the patio is 3.6 meters by 3 meters. It tells us that Matthew is going to cover the patio with paving slabs and that each paving slab is a square of side 60 centimeters. So we've got some important information there. Matthew buys 32 of the paving slabs and we're asked, does he buy enough slabs to cover the patio? We must show all of our working. Okay, the first thing um, that I can see here is we're dealing with uh, units. Uh, but in the patio, we're given it in meters, and for the slabs, we're told that they're 60 centimeters. So I'm going to make the units the same so that I don't have to, um, well, so that we don't come up against any calculation problems later on. So um, 3.6 meters is going to be 360 centimeters, and 3 meters is going to be 300 centimeters so we're going to do the whole problem using centimeters okay the first thing i'm going to have to work out is the area of the rectangle if i work out the area of the patio divide by the area of the slab and then see how many slabs fit in so let's start with the area of the rectangle so area of patio equals right so we're going to do 360 times by 300. Um, 36 times 3 is 108. So 108. And then I'm going to have to times my answer by 1, 2, 3, 0. So that times it by 1,000. And we get 108,000. And the units here now are centimetres squared. So the, the patio is 108,000 centimetres squared. Okay, let's get the area of the slab. And then we're going to find out how many slabs fit into the patio. Okay, the area of the slab, well, it's a square and its side is 60, so it's going to be 60 times 60. 6 6 is our 36. And then times our answer by 100. And that's also in centimeters squared. Okay, so now we want to know the number of slabs. And the number of slabs, number of slabs is going to be equal to the area of the patio divided by the area of the slab. Okay, so if I find out how many slabs fit into the patio, that'll tell me the number of slabs. So 108,000 divided by 30. 600 and I'm writing it as a fraction because this is going to make life a little bit easier for me I can cancel above and below remember writing one thing as a fraction is the same as writing this so 108 0, 0, 0, divided by 3600 so remember to use your skills with fractions okay divide the top and bottom by 100 right off the bat so that cancels out two zeros um, now I'm going to divide the top and bottom both by 6. So 6 into um, 108, well, it goes in once, and then 8, and then we still have the 0. So 6 into 1080 will go 180 times, and 6 into 36 goes 6 times. And let's divide top and bottom by 6 again. So that goes once, and 6 into that goes 30 times. So the number of slabs equals 30. Okay, does Matthew have enough paving slabs to cover the patio? Now I can answer that question. And it's very important that you do answer that question. Don't stop here with 30. We still got to answer what they've asked. No. Matthew needs two more slabs. So he didn't buy enough, he needs two more. Okay, let's have a look at part B. The paving slabs cost £8.63 each. Work out the total cost of 32 paving slabs. So essentially what we're asked to do here is a bit of arithmetic, 8.63 times by 32. And lots of, it's just long multiplication here. We've got to remember that we can't use the calculator. 
So we're going to have to choose our method. Now you could use the column, you can use the grid or the lattice. Um, I'm a big fan of the lattice, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to work out 863 times by 32. And we do it like this. So we'll have an 8, a 6, a 3, and 32. Okay. Now I'm going to set up a grid. Just like this. Let's just tidy that up. And then split each one of these in half. So if you're not sure of this method, do look it up. We've got a, a video tutorial on this. So cut each box in half. And away we go. Okay. Three times three is nine. Put a zero here and a nine here. Three times two is six. Zero and six. Six times three is eighteen. One and eight. Six times two is twelve. One and two. Eight times three, twenty-four. And then eight times two, sixteen. And what we're going to do is we're going to add along the strips. So we get six here. Nine and two is eleven. Down one. Carry one. One. And 8 is 9, 10, 16, carry 1, 2, 6, 7, not carrying anything now, and then 2. So we get an answer of 2, 7, 6, 1, 6, but that was 863 times 32. My answer is going to be 100 times smaller, so I'm going to put a decimal place there. So that's the total cost of 32 paving slabs.